There's airports, then there's air and spaceports. On today's episode of Where Business is Boundless, we'll explore the gateway to the final frontier where air and space collide at Mojave Air and Spaceport and how vital it is to the economic development of Kern County. Now follow me on my journey where I see the sky is not the limit here at Mojave Air and Spaceport. Today we're going to be exploring the Mojave Air and Spaceport with our friend Tim. Hey, hey, Tim. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do here. Uh, we do a whole bunch of, of various in, interesting things. Um, we are a horizontal launch facility and a licensed spaceport. We have uh, operators that do horizontal launches like Northrop Grumman, Strato Launch, uh, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Orbit. But also we're a general aviation airport, which is where we have our tenants that come in with uh, design concepts that they go ahead and build and test here at Mojave as well. So uh, a very exciting and interesting spaceport. So you guys do a lot. We do a lot. To sum it all up. <laughs> Absolutely. In 1942, the U.S. Marine Corps took over the field and vastly expanded the U.S. Marine Corps Auxiliary Air Station here in Mojave. So Tim, tell me a few things about Mojave and what year was it established? Uh, well, the airport itself, uh, it was established in 1976. Um, uh, Dan Sabovich, the original mm -hmm. general manager, uh, saw this airport, that, which was inactive, it was being used as a Marine Corps uh, Reserve Air Station. It was inactive for years. Mm -hmm. And he said, this would be a great location for testing aircraft, much like what they do at Edwards. So around 1976, when East Kern uh, Airport District took over the airport and, um, and uh, started building into what it is today. Wow, how about we go check outside? Yeah, I got a plane outside if you guys want to check it out. Yes, definitely. Okay. So Tim, tell me a little bit of something about this plane. Well, this is a Piper Warrior. It's 108 horsepower. It's used mostly for training, but also for some cross country and some leisure flying. So it's a kind of embodies, I think, what uh, what we're trying to accomplish here at Mojave, which is uh, providing a general aviation environment in addition to all the flight testing and uh, aerospace testing that we do. So since the expansion here at Mojave, what is the economic impact that you've seen? Um, there's a tremendous economic impact here locally in Mojave, but also in Kern County as a whole, because we provide for at least 3,000 jobs. Okay. There's a, a tremendous economic impact from this spaceport. So exactly how big is this sleepy giant? It's 3,300 acres. Wow, so it's not tiny for sure. No, <laughs> no, especially for an airport. We have plenty of space. So what are some of the programs that you guys are trying to move here into Mojave? Uh, right now with space and development and exploration of space, your small startups are, are the gold. Um, it's not the big fish that we're traditionally accustomed to in the aviation world. Uh -huh. It's the small individual entities. So trying to find a way to get them onto the airfield, lessen their overhead as much as possible and so that they can start working, designing, building their and testing their equipment and then grow with the airport as they need to. There's a very bright future for Mojave outside of just the, the flight testing, rocket testing and uh, general aviation. Mojave Air and Spaceport has been a consistent in breaking records and has pushed the aerospace barriers. Now, how does this help with the community here? Well, so this is very unique. Um, the spaceport actually owns and operates this air traffic control tower, which is exceptionally unique in airports. Usually it's the FAA that operates it, or the FAA operates it through a contract tower. We're a non-FAA contracted tower. So that means that our air traffic controllers are employees with the airport, yeah. and the airport pays and maintains this air traffic control facility because we feel there's so much value in having it here. So, have a little bit of a surprise for you. If you want to come along with me, we can go flying. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but <laughs> I like a challenge. You have nothing to worry about. I'm a flight instructor. I've been doing this for 20 years, so you're in good hands. <laughs> Have 
haven't. There's a bright future here at Mojave Air and Spaceport. Ben, thank you for showing me around and flying me around. Oh, it's been a blast. See you guys next time on Where Business is Boundless.